Unit 4, learning target number 7, reflect points over the x or y axis. We're talking about reflecting points across an axis. So when we're talking about math, what exactly does it mean to be a reflection? Well, let's just for a second consider this picture. Here we have some reflections of the mountain down here in the water and some reflections on this side. And if you look carefully, you can see that these mountains look very similar to these mountains. It almost looks like there's a reflection from left to right as well. Even though it's not perfect, this side has trees and this side doesn't, but it looks very similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an X and Y axis over top of this. These are my X and Y axes here. I've got Y axis right here and I've got my x-axis over here. I have my x-axis there. When I take these two axes together and I look at this drawing, I can kind of see something cool. It looks like if I take this point right here and I look at the reflection, the points are in almost exactly the same place because the water line here makes the x-axis up. So they are exactly the same distance from the lake going up as they are from the lake going down. And on this side, if I look at the point where the rock meets the trees here, I can also see that it is in exactly the same spot in this quadrant. So remember, this is our first quadrant, and this is our second quadrant, and this is our third quadrant down here, and this is our fourth quadrant over here. And these are all positive, positive points. And these are all negative, positive points. And these are all negative, negative points. And these are all positive, negative points. Positive, negative points right there. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about reflections. And if you look, these are reflections across the x-axis. This might be a reflection across the y-axis. If you look at these, because these are very similar, they're not exact, but they're very similar. We have a point here and a point here that are almost exactly identical to each other, exactly the same distance up and to the left and up and to the right. They're almost exactly the same place. So this is an example of a reflection using math. Let's look at an example of reflection using our actual coordinate grid, our coordinate plane. Number one, what do point A and point B have in common? Here's point A and here's point B. What do these have in common? Well, if we look at the x-coordinate for A, it's negative 3. And the x-coordinate for B is positive 3. So those aren't the same. They don't have those in common. However, if we look at the y-coordinates, over here we see 2. And for B, we also see 2. Both of those are the same. So they have the same y-coordinate. That makes a lot of sense because they are reflected over the y-axis. Here is my y-axis and I have reflected them just like in my picture with the mountain from here, rather from here to here, I've reflected that over the y-axis just the same here. So the only thing that is changing is my x-coordinate. What is different between point A and point B is our x-coordinate. It is negative 3 over here and positive 3 over here. Let's use these coordinates to find the point coordinates for D. Well, when we reflect A over the x-axis, the y-coordinates are different. The x-coordinates are the same. So when we flipped this one across the y-axis, the x-coordinates were different. But when we flipped this one across the x-axis, the y coordinates are different. So let's see what would happen if we were to flip this across the x axis. We would expect the y coordinate to change and to be the negative. It's opposite, right? We would expect that to be negative 2. So let's count down just for fun. Negative 1 and negative 2. That's exactly where it's at. And we would expect the, the x coordinate to be exactly the same, and it is 1, 2, 3. So 3, negative 2. And that would work the same way if we look at the flipping of this point over the y-axis. The x-coordinate should change between these two points, and it does, negative 3 to positive 3, while the y-coordinate should change. So when you flip across the x-axis, the x-axis, 
the Y coordinate changes. But when you flip across the Y axis, the X coordinate changes and becomes its opposite. Now let's take a look at a couple of problems. Here we're reflecting a point over an axis. Problem number one, reflect 0.35 over the X axis. There's a lot of stuff going on on this slide, so pay attention with me. Reflect 35 over the X axis. So here is point 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Point 35, and we're going to reflect that over the X axis. So remember, if it's being reflected across the X axis, the Y coordinate will change because it's going to go down. It's going to flip down. So my Y coordinate is the one that's going to change. So what I should get is 3, negative 5. And that's exactly what I get. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I count down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right here. And I get this coordinate to be 3, negative 5. So that's exactly correct. Now let's take a look at my second problem. I'm told in number two here to reflect negative five two over the y axis. So I'm going to flip it over the y axis here. And the y axis points are negative five two. So I travel negative five and then up two to get my point. To reflect that across the y axis, which coordinate should change? the X coordinate should change. So here's my X coordinate and here's my Y coordinate. My X coordinate should change to its opposite. So that should be five and then this one should stay the same since we're flipping across the Y axis. So we should get point five, two. So let's move five along the X axis and two along the Y axis. And is that a reflection? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It certainly is. We can see them just like we did in this particular picture of our two points on the mountain. Let's do a quick couple of problems then using our X and Y axis and reflection without having our grid off to the side. We're going to reflect 3, 2 across the X axis. Now remember, we're reflecting across the X axis, so which coordinate should change? The Y coordinate should change. So what we get should be the same X coordinate since we're flipping it across the X axis and the Y coordinate should change to its opposite. Now we'll reflect negative four, negative four across the Y axis. Since we're reflecting across the Y axis, the X coordinate is the one that should change. So what we should wind up with is something negative four and it changes, the x-coordinate changes to its opposite, so we should have 4, negative 4.